Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, many of you may know that we run the Power BI Challenge at Enterprise DNA. We run these uh, on a, a regular cycle, and uh, there is literally just so many good submissions um, that I'm going to take it upon myself to highlight some of the fantastic techniques which are used within these um, reports that are being submitted into, into the challenge. I mean, there's just so many. I mean, there's, there, there, there are so many that I personally have never even used. So there's just like so much great stuff that I wanted to showcase to the world, as well as the amazing just resources and showcases that those um, Enterprise DNA um, members are, are creating. I mean, it's just, it just just blows me away. Um, but what I wanna do here is I wanna dive into a specific technique used by Greg Phillips, who's, who's actually one of our Enterprise DNA experts. Um, what I've done is I've uh, I've grabbed it from uh, well I've I've gone and had a look at uh, some of the submissions and I remember that from 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 a historic one Greg created this amazing uh, sort of like uh, bookmarking not not bookmarking but sort of uh, way to showcase what you have selected in a slicer and it actually solves a problem that I see quite often with um, work that I've uh, historically looked at and also some other submissions. Um, it, it really does solve a problem quite effectively and I think that you'll get a lot of use out of it if you find yourself in a similar situation. By the way, there is actually so many great techniques in just this one report. Um, I feel like I'm not doing it justice, just diving into one, but I, I don't want to obviously make these too long uh, and I want to just really focus on the, this, this um, you know, the, these unique uh, techniques which are going to you know, help you in, in various different um, ways that you might build your own reports, right? So what I'm, what I'm really looking at here is down, down the bottom here, okay? So what you find when you use slices inside of Power BI um, is that when you, multi when you have multiple selections within a slicer, right, it doesn't actually tell you what you have selected. And so when someone's, say, looking at this, when someone's, say, looking at uh, this particular report, it can sometimes, say, for instance, you didn't have good labeling or something like that, it can sometimes be quite difficult to know what is actually selected. And this could be across any any type of dimension, like, uh, you know, store locations or regions or customers or, you know, what if you want to do some sort of multi-selection of customers in a dynamic way, but it's, it's not actually that obvious in your report page what you've selected because the slicer doesn't tell you. So what Greg did in this report, which I loved, and I had never actually done really much myself, to be honest, was that he created a bar down the bottom, which... Uh, actually showed you in text what is selected so you there's no ambiguity in terms of what someone is looking at in the report okay so i want to show you the technique in which he um uh the technique he used to actually make this happen right and not and not only has he has he just done it for say interviewers he's actually done it a, among many different um filters here right so the same technique has been used so you can select say a couple of regions and you'll see that this should this should update uh dynamically right so isn't isn't that cool right so the 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 regions were selected here and then maybe this needs to be a little bit bigger because it's quite hard to see but you'll see that all of the employees are now showing up um for those particular the, those particular regions right and then if you really wanted to you could come in here and make a you know, maybe we only want to see like one of these particular um, employees. Let's see what, what let's see what happens with that, right? And so, it's pretty cool how your you know it doesn't give you much clarity here when you have many of these, but this does give you the clarity because it's in text. Okay, so how 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 is it done? How is it done? Let's go and have a look at the interviews because it's embedded in behind here as a measure, right? But then he's grouped them up so it looks like there's actually two measures in this group, which is another cool little trick. But what I'm going to do, uh, oh, this actually might be, actually might be a, a table. Yeah, it is actually. It's a matrix. It's a matrix. That's cool, isn't it? So he's embedded actually two measures within the matrix, one after the other. Another another really cool visualization trick. Well, let's have a look at the particular formula itself. Okay, and so he's used variables really effectively. Now, what he's done here uh, with these two variables up here is he's he's made sure. He's made sure that not everything was selected, right? And so he's he's gone and calculated up, okay, well, how many interviewers are there in total? 
and then how many interview interviewers are selected if they are equal to the same thing then we just want to say all we don't want to list out every single person here because we don't need to if we know that it's just all and so that's just a little bit of a uh, sort of like a check to make sure um, that this doesn't get too overwhelming okay now you want to be strategic here because say for instance you had a drop down and you had maybe a thousand items in your drop down well then this doesn't really make sense right so just have, have a think about it um, you know it makes more sense uh, to use it in some ways th than others if you've got that um, you know if you've got that issue maybe just have a rethink about how you do your report in general like does someone really want to be coming to your report and having thousands of things to s select from that could get a little bit confusing so you really want to have a think about that now um, this is it here this is the this is the main part of the formula that makes this happen right concatenate x okay so what happens is within k because it's an because it's an x right it's an iterating function uh, so concatenate x and so we need to iterate through something well what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through the every single value a value that we have for the interviewer now values is going to um, understand the context in which you have selected in your report right so the context here is just the selections it's not every single interviewer because we've made some selections here so it's only those the 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 list that we're going to get with values is just this list here Catherine Maria and Shirley okay now if you want to know um, how values works in a bit more detail check out some other videos on our channel have covered this uh, in the past so Basically, it's just creating a list for us, right? We're gonna we're gonna work through a list of all these interviewers. Then, um, what we can do within concatenate X is we can work out a way to concatenate these all together. And so we've said, okay, we want an interviewer um, in this part, and then we want to separate it by a semicolon with a space, and then we want the um, interviewer after that, and then we want to rank it in an ascending way. Okay. Then he's after the return, he's just returned the result. So he's just returned the variable um, itself. So you know you could use this as after the return it's just i think greg has simplified it a little bit and this looks pretty neat right so that is the technique that is the technique and it's something that um, when i saw it i thought it was ingenious um, amongst many other techniques um, sort of used here uh, and so you know i just wanted to highlight it here i wanted to highlight an, a, 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 a well thought out and um, comprehensive submission into the challenge but also just this wonderful technique and to be honest i actually might create another video another couple of videos about just this particular report because there is so many other like really good things that i that i like about um about what greg has has actually done in here right but um in this particular video i'm going to round it off shortly i just wanted to highlight that because you know i could I, honestly i could i could i can you know i'm hoping that um you know a lot of you are as um you know when you see this technique you're like yeah man like seriously i should be doing this i should have done this in the past you know i should i should have input this into into my reports it makes complete sense right um because it does it totally does like this multiple selections is not that helpful in in some cases okay so you want to just think how can i visualize what is being selected so there's just zero ambiguity about what is actually what the context is and what is being actually shown in the page right now, some other things that I might highlight um, and another point is how, how Greg did this text with all of these different results. So like when you actually change the selection here, when you change the selections, not only does it change down here, but it also changes what text is being um, actually shown here. I mean, that's seriously cool too. So I might do that in a, in, in a follow-up video, but I think um, today I'm going to round things off. So hopefully you enjoy this one. Um, great technique, um, great submission as well um, by, by Greg. Well done. Um, so yeah look I'm, I'm i'm enjoying i'm enjoying reviewing these and, and i just can't wait to showcase more of the great work um that, that i'm learning from and that uh, that our community can learn from as well and that you can learn from too okay so uh if you like this one definitely throw the video a like appreciate it uh and uh, don't forget to subscribe lots of lots of um, awesome content coming out from enterprise dna so looking forward to getting that out to you um as soon as as soon as we as soon as we create it okay all the very best